Hello, this is Cryptos 2018 with simple cryptocurrency reviews. First of all, I would like to say that I'm not a financial advisor, I'm a crypto enthusiast, and the purpose of this review is to give you a high level insight and personal opinion on a crypto coin or a token. Okay, today I'm going to be doing something different. Normally I do uh, cryptocurrency reviews, however today I'm going to be doing a bit of a review as well as an actual walkthrough on, on how to actually test this, um, this token that we're going to be talking about on testnet. Okay, as we can see on Neo One News today, we've got this latest post called Enya Launch Neo Name Service on Testnet with NNC Giveaway. Okay, so we need to go and see what is this NNS about. So Neo Econo Labs have released a Testnet version of the forthcoming Neo Name Service application, which is a decentralized domain name service based on the Neo blockchain. Users who register a name on the Testnet platform will be eligible to receive 50 NNC tokens. Neo name service will allow users to purchase domain names with a .neo top level domain. The names can then be used as an alias for public keys and smart contract addresses to improve the usability of the blockchain. Instead of a long and complicated string, users will be able to send funds to an easily recognizable name such as banana.neo. In the future, Neo Econo Labs hopes to support DNS services so that so the .neo TLD can also be used for web addresses and emails. The testnet version of the Neo name service features a .test TLD and can be accessed via the testwallet.nl.group. The live version of Neo name service will employ a bidding system for the registration of names. However, the testnet version will distribute names on a first-come, first-come, first-serve basis. The purpose of opening the testnet deployment to the public is to help the development team find additional bugs and improve the experience before the launch. Every user who successfully registers a .test domain will be eligible for 50 NNC tokens. Holders of the NNC tokens will receive dividends in gas income collected through the registration and renewal fees of the platform. Neo Econo Labs will not be holding a token sale for the Neo name service. The dot .test names are for test purposes only and ownership will not be carried onto the main at release. Instructions on how to register a dot .test domain and claim 50 NNC can be found on the Neo name service medium post. Okay, so this is this is a pretty cool project. I mean, whoever knows uh, Neo actually offer if if you hold Neo in your wallet, you actually start to generate gas. Uh, and uh, pretty much NNC are going to do the same. So they're going to, if you hold NNC in your wallet, you're going to be generating gas. However, the gas that you generate works in a different way. You generate it because people are actually bidding on the, uh, to, to pay for the domain names. So what's going to happen is any, any long address that you may have for, uh, in your Neo wallet right now, like for example, A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like the really, really long string ones, they're going to be replaced for an actual domain name. Uh, when you when you bid for it, when you actually want to to purchase it, this is going to be pretty cool because it's going to make things easier, especially for businesses that may want to have a, a neo address. They'll be able to uh, to easily uh, advertise that neo address so that people can actually uh, donate onto it or post onto it. It all depends on the use case. Okay, so we're going to move on to the um, actual website. So as they've mentioned here, this is the testwallet.nl.group. I've already I already have this website open. And we're going to uh, do a walkthrough for you guys so that you can actually see step by step how to receive your 50 NNS tokens. Okay, as we can see here, we've got the login page. Now we don't actually have a wallet because this is on testnet. So we're going to generate a brand new one. You need to click the generate button. Then you name your wallet. Okay, so let's just say test underscore YouTube. Okay, we're going to put in a password. Okay, then you click the generate button. Okay, now what's going to happen is your key store file has been created. So you actually need to download this key store file. Okay, I'm going to save it. It's a JSON file. Okay, perfect. So now we can actually log in. So we go to login. We select the key store file. We go to the folder where we saved it. We open it. We type in the password and we click the login button. It says be patient and wait for be patient and wait for patience. Okay. Transfer NNS. Okay, so now the next step that you need to do, as you can see here, obviously the balance is zero neo is zero gas because it's a brand new wallet. You have to go this is this is your key address. Now before I move on, just to show you, this is your actual NEO address, let's say. Okay, the, the, the one on testnet that they've created for you. 
We're actually going to copy this because we were going to need it later on. Okay, so the next thing you do is after you copy the address, you go to NNS. And now you basically have to register a domain name, a neo name. It has to end with dot .test because this is on testnet. Okay, let's say YouTube underscore test. Please enter the correct format. Why does this not let me? 2018. Okay, so let's try with YouTube test 2018. They have some specific formats here that you have to use, otherwise it won't actually work. Click register. Okay, so as we can see here at the bottom, it actually shows you my domain name. However, this domain name is not actually linked to any address. So even though I have my address, I created a domain name within the test wallet. It's not actually mapping this domain name to this address. So we need to do this process manually. So how do we do that? We need to have an edit button here show up. However, this edit button is not showing up yet. So we need to refresh the page as they say here. So we click refresh. Okay, it's still not showing. We'll need to wait a little bit. We need to give it some time as it says here, try to refresh the page after the Neo block height is updated. Okay, so we can see the Neo block height here, 1480218. Okay, click refresh again. Okay, now we've got the edit button. So we can click on edit. As we can see here, we've got an address resolver. This is the official address resolver. You have to confirm this address resolver first to map your address. Now, my what I think this address resolver is, is actually like a unique identifier, which is uniquely identifying um, the link between, I think I think it's, it's like it's creating a, a mock unique identifier of your domain name. So this, this unique identifier that needs to be mapped to the address of your Neo wallet. So first, the first thing we do is we actually click confirm on the address resolver. Now you are going to see this load. So it's not actually going to show any kind of green tick, but the ideal solution is to actually have a green tick here. Uh, I'm sure they're going to fix this is basically what they want us to do is they want us to test this so that they can find any potential bugs. And I, I'm sure that once the mainnet comes out, as soon as you click this, it's probably gonna take a few seconds, I don't know, maybe a minute at most, and it's actually gonna show the green tick on the same page. However, right now, it's not gonna show it if we wait here, so we need to refresh the page. So what we do is we can close out of this. We refresh the page again. We click edit, it's still doing it. So basically what we'll do is we can keep refreshing this page every few seconds until we see the address resolver showing up here in this line. So just under my domain name, you've got address resolver, you've got address mapping. So when the address resolver shows up there, that means it's uh, it's got the little green tick when we click on edit. So let's refresh this again. Okay, it's still not showing up. Still loading as we can see. So yeah, you need a little bit of patience, but we'll get this done. Okay, refresh again. Still not showing up, need to give it a moment. Try it again. Okay, it's taken a while. Yeah, it's probably really busy right now. I'm sure there are a lot of people testing it. So. Okay, let's try to refresh again. Okay, right, as we can see, we've actually got the address resolver ready. So when we click edit, we should see the green tick. Okay, here it is. So the next thing we do now is we map the address to this address resolver. This is the address we copied at the beginning. This is your wallet public address. Okay, now we do the same. We click the confirm button. Okay, we'll wait for the uh, loading symbol. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. 
Okay, so now we need to wait another few seconds for this to finish. Okay, we can keep refreshing it. I mean, it doesn't do anything bad because we've already sent the information to the blockchain. So it's not going to break anything by you refreshing the page. You can keep doing that. And you can see here, you've also got the uh, the pop-up with the you get a reward of 50 NNCs is now highlighted. However, I don't recommend you actually clicking on it yet until we get everything sorted here and we follow all the steps. So we need to make sure that the address is mapped. And once the address is mapped, then we can click on this. This is like the, the next step. Okay, let's refresh again. Okay, here we go. This is actually quite fast. So as we can see here, the address mapping is showing up. It's actually showing your NEO address. So when we click on edit, we should see the green tick under both. This is perfect. This is what we want. This means that the address, the NEO wallet address is now mapped to your domain name, which means that anybody that wants to send you funds can send you funds to this domain name instead of uh, based on the NEO address. Now, one thing I forgot to mention before we actually click on the you get a reward, which will take us to a different website where we need to do the KYC. We should go to transfer. As we can see, we don't have anything here. However, let me just get this address again. Sorry, balance. Okay. So we need to type in YouTube test 2018. Why does it say the address is incorrect? Does it just take some time? No. YouTube test 2018.test. So you go to transfer and type in YouTube test 2018.test. Okay, I forgot to type in the dot test part. Okay. Okay, this is a bit strange. It should actually show up. YouTube test 2018.test. The address is being mapped. Okay, we can see it's mapped. Why is it not letting me? Okay, so now it's showing us the green tick. Okay, I mean, this is a good thing that this happened because it could happen to some of you as well. And then you'll be asking yourselves, why is it not actually showing me the green tick if everything is mapped correctly? It looks like it takes some time that after the mapping, you still need to wait some time before the address is actually um, officially released onto the blockchain and it's, it can be used. So now we can see that it is being in use. So we can go back to uh, NNS. We can click on the you get a reward of 50 NNCs. And what it does is it basically sends you to their um, KYC page where you need to enter your first name, last name, the country where you're in, and then ID or passport. You type in your ID or passport number. You upload it. Then your email address. Now with regards to the ID or passport, just make sure that the file is less than three megabytes in size before you do that because it seems that it's a bit buggy. So if you try to upload a file which is three MB in size, um, sorry, larger than three MB, then it's going to give you the error message, but it's not gonna let you reselect it which means that uh, you'll need to basically refresh the page. You'll need to close out of it and go back in and fill in all the details. Okay, then your email address, your mobile number, and then you're gonna get a verification code. You type in the verification code, and then you need to type in the most important thing, which is your Neo wallet address on mainnet. This is your real Neo wallet address, which you are using where you store your coins, your Neo coins or your NEP tokens so that the 50 NNCs can be sent to this wallet address. Then you click confirm and that's, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope, um, I hope this video is informative guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below with any questions you may have. I will answer all the questions that people will ask. Until next time, goodbye.